You can slide the power switch on the remote controller to the right to turn it on and check the battery level of the remote controller. Be sure to fully charge both the intelligent flight battery and the remote controller battery before your first flight. It is recommended that you turn off the intelligent flight battery and the remote controller before charging them. To charge the intelligent flight battery, just flip up the cover on the charger's cable, just like this. Then insert the prongs into the matching slots on the battery. Then connect the charger to a power source. The battery level indicators will blink green to indicate the charging is in process. Charge the remote controller using the provided micro USB cable. You can use your own USB charger with the included USB charging cable. When charging is complete, the status LED will change from red to green. Now let's take a look at the accessories box. All right, in this bag, you'll find your wrench. Use this to remove your propellers if they're too tight. You'll also find a spare set of landing pads, which go on the bottom of your landing gear in case you lose them. Also included are spare vibration dampeners and spare anti-drop kit. Now let's take a look at the propellers. There are two sets of four propellers. Let's take a look at one of the sets. Each set comes with two black indicated propellers for clockwise rotation and two silver indicated propellers for counterclockwise rotation. We'll go over how to install these in a pre-flight video. Let's take a look at the literature. There are three items in the literature pack. We have safety guidelines and disclaimer, quick start guide, and in the box. For the user manual, please visit our website, www.dji.com, and please read all of these documents before you fly. In our next video, we'll be going over a pre-flight checklist and everything you need to know before you fly. Thanks for watching.